TypeScript 5.5 just released that beta and I want to talk about the feature that everybody else is talking about as everyone's really excited for this as it solves the developer experience problem we've been having with TypeScript for a while now. This is a really awesome release and I want to jump into what has changed. Now let's start off here in a TypeScript playground in the previous version of TypeScript, TypeScript 5.4.5 to see what the problem is. So here we have a value and it can be of number and string. The implementation here doesn't matter, this could come from your data. For me, I'm just randomizing whether it's going to be a string, which says subscribe, or if it's going to be a number. Now, what if we wanted to check whether this was a string or a number? Well, we can simply do an if statement using type of. So we did if type of, and then let's say string. And then let's say we come in here and make sure, obviously I do type of val. And then I come in here and let's say I console log this value. So if I console log val now, what we should see if I highlight over this, it now has correctly type narrowed this for us as now TypeScript can pick up that this should only be a string when we're inside of this if function. As I said, it's used type narrowing here, so we can never get the type of number within this as we've done this check here. Okay, let's do this check in loads of places within our code base. So what would we do? Well, we could change this into a function itself. So if I do function and then is string like so, and then let's say I take in a value and let's just take in unknown as we're gonna do a type check on it anyway, so we can do that. And then if I do return, and then if I say if val, and then let's say, or type of val, and then let's again add in our string check there. Well, let's go ahead and use this now in the same way we did before. So if I do if, like so, and then if string, and then in here, if I do value, and then I come in here and console log that again, well, you'd expect the same behavior as our previous check where we had it in an if statement, as all we've done is move that check into a function here. But with TypeScript 5.4.5, what it actually does is it loses that check for us. TypeScript can't understand that that function is what's called a type predicate. And we absolutely lose that functionality there. So you'll see here that you could get errors because it's expecting that TypeScript now thinks the value can be a string or a number, even though it definitely can't be because we've done this check here for whether it's a string. Now you can fix this in the current version of TypeScript by adding your type predicate up here. So if we come up here and we say val is string, like so what you'll see is this will fix it here for us. But there's a bit of pitfall with this, more than it's just sort of an annoying experience for the developer to have to define this as it seems a bit stupid. The other thing is it doesn't really keep up with changes. If I change this to value is number, what you'll see is the value down here will now think it's a number, even though it definitely can't be because we've just checked if the type of value is string. So it's not taking into account what's actually being returned from this function. It's not flowing through it. Let's change this now into TypeScript 5.5. So if we go to the nightly build, what you'll see here is if we load this up and get rid of this type predicate, so it won't run if you already have a type predicate on it. But if we remove this now, what you'll notice is the value now correctly picks up that it is a string as it's gone through this function here and it knows that we're now doing a type predicate and it's picked it up for us. So it's inferred that for us. Now, where this gets really cool is if we use stuff like array.map and array.filter. So let's check out the example they had in their blog post for a more complex demo of this. So the example they give in their blog post, which I'll link down below, is let's say we have our interface of bird here with a common name, scientific name, and then a function to make it sing or to make it do its bird call. We have a map of national birds. And now remember, not every country is going to have a national bird. That's the important part here. So let's say we now run a function to make all of the bird calls for all of the countries. Well, what we'll do is we'll take the countries, we'll map over them, and we'll turn the map from a country's map into a national bird's map. As I said earlier, not every single country is going to have a national bird. So some of these are going to be undefined. But what we can do after that is we can just check and make sure that we filter out the undefined ones. So we just have a map of birds that have essentially all the map of national birds in the end here. So now what we can do is we can do four cons bird of birds, bird.sing. But what you'll notice, again, we're in TypeScript 5.4.5. So we hover over bird here. It says bird is possibly undefined. So it thinks the type here is bird or undefined. But again, how can that be? We've done the check here for make sure the bird isn't undefined. We've literally filtered it out of the bird's array. So this is technically wrong. It, it can't be undefined here in this map. Once we've changed this to TypeScript 5.5, what you'll see is it correctly picks up that we're doing that check there and make sure that bird isn't undefined here and it knows that bird isn't undefined here. The reason it's done this is it's essentially picked up this function here and knows and has inferred that it's a type predicate. So it knows that we're filtering out the undefined ones there. So it returns us that map being of a list of just bird only. 
Previously, this would have been a array of bird or undefined. That's a really cool functionality of TypeScript, as I said. So I'm really excited for this to ship in 5.5 and loads of other people are. It's just a really nice developer experience enhancement. Let's take a look at another cool feature that TypeScript is adding on that developer experience side of things. That next feature is called Control Flow Narrowing for Constant Index Accesses. Yes, that's a jumble of words, but let's take a look at what the problem is here. If I have a record of string or unknown, and let's say I wanted to make a function that could uppercase a value on our record here based on the key itself. So obviously if I put in uppercase values and then put in app name, I would want this to return the uppercase of this, or if I put in log level, I'd want it to return info in uppercase. And then if I put in uppercase of max retries here, I wouldn't want it to do anything as it can't run the two uppercase function on that as it's not a string. Well, previously in TypeScript 5.4.5 here, if we did this function here, we would obviously take in the object and then a key. So what we have here is we then do if the type of object key is equal to string. So we're running over whichever record we've been given here of type string and unknown to any type there is we then have a key of string. We're then checking if the object or if the value on that is a string itself. And that way we can then do two uppercase. But if we check out what the type of object or key is here in this type narrowing here, you'll see that it's declared as an unknown in here. Now, since this is essentially a constant, as we haven't mutated anything in here or changed it, it should be able to pick this up. So we move over to TypeScript 5.5 now. What you see is it can correctly identify that the type of object or key, so the value, is a string in here. As I said, it's because we haven't mutated it. It can correctly now narrow the expression for us and understand that we could then run the two uppercase function on that, as we're only going to have a string in this block of code here. So that's just another really cool developer experience enhancement. The next really cool developer experience enhancement that I want to mention is they're now going to syntax check regex expressions, which is really cool. At the moment, TypeScript pretty much just ignores them. So let's take a look here. What you'll see is we're in TypeScript 5.4.5 and we've got three regex expressions in here. At the moment, there is going to be some errors with this regex. It's not valid as there's an extra bracket here. This one here, it doesn't actually have a group to back reference here. And then the next one is for named capture groups. There isn't anything named named import in this regex capture group. Let's switch to TypeScript 5.5 here. So if we go to the nightly build, you'll see that we get three errors as it's done a syntax check for us. It says, did you mean to escape this um, back with the backslash here? Here you'll see on the error here, it's going to tell us the back reference refers to a group that does not exist. There are only two capturing groups. And then next, when we jump in here, it's going to say named capturing groups are only available in ES 2018 and further. That wasn't actually the error I was expecting, but shows off another error that they're going to point out is whether the regex function is even available to you. So it looks like currently in the playground, if we're targeting ES 2018 or later, we can use named capturing groups, but it looks like the playground isn't targeting that. As I said, it's going to pick up a load of errors with your regex if there is any. So that's another really cool enhancement of TypeScript. Now I'm going to leave a link to the announcement blog post in the description down below so you can check out all of the features that have been added in TypeScript 5.5. But those were the three that I thought were really good developer experience changes. They have some more covering importing types in JS doc and some things with declaration files and just overall performance improvements, which I'm really looking forward to. Let me know down in the description below if you've used some of these TypeScript and run into some of these TypeScript problems before. And as always, please subscribe and thank you for watching.